I'm making a shed in my backyard and putting together roof trusses to make the roof on the thing. And I need to figure out uh, what angle that my roof is so that I can cut my 2x4s at the proper angle to, uh, to work out here and be vertical. Now, the way I can do that, oops, <laughs> the way I can do that is using some trigonometry. All right. I know that my roof has a has a pitch of uh, I, I have a rise of three and a half and a run of five feet. So I'm going to use those two numbers and find the angle that I need to work with. So I'll draw a little picture here. Again, I have a my run is five and my rise is three point five. So I need to know what that angle is there. Now let's call it as, I don't know what roofers use for an angle, but I'm going to use theta just because mathematicians do that. I'm going to use trigonometry for this because I have two sides and I'm looking for an angle in a right triangle here, right? That's a right angle. If I have the opposite side and the adjacent side, those two together are the tangent ratio. So I can say that tangent of that angle is 3.5 over 5. So theta has to be, oops, theta has to be tan inverse, use the tan inverse function on the calculator, 5. And we can figure out what that is right now. And inverse 3.5 divided by 5. 34.99, we'll call that 35 degrees. Approximately 35 degrees. So I can then uh, use a saw where I can set the angle and get that thing exactly right. Get the, get the rafters exactly right there. So let's, uh, let's do that. Put this on here. Be a little loud. Oh yes, I almost forgot. I'm setting my angle. I put that on there. So I have angles here. I'm going to slide this over to 35, which is right there. Now that says 31.6, but that's in there. That's a special angle for something else. And so then you get that angle on there and when you put it up at that slope that you want on the roof it's going to be perfectly vertical to attach to that ridge line. So that's using trig to find the angle in a roof.